Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about how you should study for your math tests. So I'm going to do that by talking about how I personally would, would study for math tests. So if you have any ideas or suggestions uh, that could help improve uh, people's study time, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, so the first thing that I would do when I was studying for a math test is if there was any kind of review in the class, I would completely worship the review, right? You, you, if the teacher reviews, it's for a reason. Just keep going over the review over and over and over and over and over, right? That is the most important thing. So if you're fortunate enough to have a review, um, go over the review. If you don't have a review, then you should go over your homework and your notes in no particular order, right? I mean, make sure you can first finish all of the homework, right? And understand everything in your notes. Then after that, you know, go through and redo all of the examples in the homework and all of the examples in your notes uh, without looking at your resources. And that's pretty much it, right? So as an undergrad, right, at the undergrad level, that in theory should do it. So again, number one, you want to go over any type of review. If you have a review, you should totally go over it. And then two and three kind of go together. Just make sure you can do every single example from your notes and from the homework without looking at your notes. Now, if you're in a graduate level class, game over, right? The rules change. You should do all of those things. And then in, you should actually pick up other books and do problems from those books, right? You want to study and do problems from other books. As a very concrete example, um, when I was in grad school taking a particular class, I, I, I won't say which, um, I was studying for the final exam. And the final exam had three questions. That's it, just three. And I was the only person in the entire class to get one of the questions right. And I know this because uh, I went to see the teacher and I went to ask him you know, how I did in the class. And he looks at me and he says, oh, you got an A minus, but uh, that was mainly because you got number three right. And I, I said, oh, I got it right, oh yeah. And I thought, oh, that was an easy question. And he said that no one else got it right. And the only reason I got it right was because I did that problem the night before and it was in another book. So, key point. So, grad level, make sure you, you go through and you, you pour and you just, just read all books possible. That's why I have so many math books, right? Uh, you see them back here behind me, all these books. Because when I was in grad school, when I was studying for tests, I wouldn't just go over my notes and do the homework. No, 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 you know, you go through other books. So, recap, when you're studying for tests, go over any review you can and then just make sure you can do all of the homework problems and all the problems from the notes without looking at your notes. And if you're in grad school, you want to do that and then do a little bit more, right? Do problems from, from random books. So this is just general advice. And uh, surprisingly, not everyone does this. I think, I think if everyone actually did this, I think almost everyone would get uh, an A or a B in, in every math class. It just takes a lot of time and effort to do this. So let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas or suggestions for preparing for tests, uh, leave your comment below. That's it.